Good morning YouTubers, another day awaits me, I've come in early today, I'm getting the boat ready. This is the boat, this is inside, I'm just shielding myself from the sun's rays at the moment. It's August in Gibraltar and it's really, really hot. I came in early today to go to the post office to pick up a book. I've got a book, it's finally arrived, by uh, Trevor Colt, MC. Now, I know a lot of people on this channel who follow me know who Trevor Colt is already, but for the benefit of the people who don't, who don't know who he is, uh, he's got his own YouTube channel. You'll find it Trevor Colt, MC. Not Colt as in Colt 45, it's C-O-U-L-T. Check him out, look him up, you can Google him, there's loads of stuff on him. Uh, he's, he's just a very good YouTube channel. He comes out with a lot of hilarious things, outrageous things, funny things and serious things as well. Um, well worth checking him out. <clears throat> he's actually a British soldier. He served a long time in the British military and he was top of his game. Um, he saw combat in numerous places around the world including um, Bosnia, I think, um, Iraq and Afghanistan. He's been shot at, he's been blown up. And he finally got PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, which is, is, is a mental health issue, shell shock, they used to call it, years ago. So the military just uh, put him on the sick for a while and then told him to get out of his married quarter and threw him out of the army. Well... I'm not sure exactly the details of how it finished, but it didn't end well. And Trevor's really pissed off with the military for the way they treat ex-veterans who have risked their lives, you know, actually put their lives on the line for king and country and a, a steady wage packet. I mean, I would put my life on the line, but it'd have to be a lot more money in it than that, for sure. So a lot of respect to the guy. Anyway, he sent me this book. Not only has he sent me his book, but he's actually signed it as well. There it is. It's a bit in reverse because it's. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at doing it on the phone. Trevor called MC first into Sanjin. I never heard of Sanjin. I didn't know where the where the fuck Sanjin was. So I looked. I googled it. It's in Afghanistan, and it's uh, it's in the middle of nowhere. I've been there on my flight sim. I had a little chat with Trevor about this, and uh, when I got there, because the terrain on the flight simulator is, is very similar. It's it's just flat. Uh, there's nothing there, there's just where two rivers come together and uh, goes off down the valley and there's, there's mountains in the distance on both sides and the, the distance just goes on forever, forever I thought, wow but they went there and the British had a hell of a time there they, they got blown up and they got shot at by the Taliban and, and it was a horrendous I've looked it up, I've looked it up at Sanjin and the, the Americans went in there years later the US Marines, and they had a hell of a time. Hell of a time. They have nightmares about Sanjin. And uh, I think they made a film about it, actually. But that wasn't until at least four or five years later, after Trevor was there. The British had a right nasty time there. So I'm really looking forward to reading this book. There it is there, and he's signed it inside. He's put a thing in there for me. Sue Graham from Trevor. Need my glasses for this. My age, you know. Pardon me. Sue Graham from Trevor, from one veteran to another. Well, that's a huge compliment coming from him because I did fuck all in my military career, honestly. You know, compared to this guy who did everything. <laughs> oh. Thank you for your service, your friendship, and your support. Trevor Colt, MC. Boom. I'm really looking forward to reading this book because uh, I'm a bit of an amateur um, military historian. I love military history. I mean, that's one of the reasons I moved to Gibraltar. This place is full of military history. I remember my parents took me off to see uh, uh, old castles in North Wales, you know, where Mel Gibson uh, was, was fighting uh, Edward I. Longshanks! No, that was Scotland, wasn't it? This was Wales. It was the other fellow, wasn't it? Uh, Owen Wendower or something. I love wandering around these old castles and like, seeing where battles were fought and stuff like this. And uh, I've never been in a battle. I'm very glad to say, actually, because there was nothing going on when I was in the military. We didn't. I did nothing. Went nowhere. Okay, got no medals for anything. Uh, not trying to pretend I did. <laughs> and I'm quite glad, actually, in hindsight, looking back, that that was the case. But yeah, proper hero, Trevor Colt, C O U L T M C, Military Cross. 
look him up look up his youtube channel check him out well worth well worth um, a look at thanks very much and a big thank you to trevor for the book i greatly appreciate it i'm looking forward to reading it all the best mate